rank Guillermo Jones as one of the best fighters you never saw in the past decade, but I can't because uh, he hardly ever fights. I saw him annihilate Wayne Braithwaite back in 2005 and thought, wow, you know, this guy came all the way up from 154 pounds and beat one of the um, top cruiserweights at the time. Uh, since then, uh, Jones hasn't fought at all. I mean, he won the title back in 2008 against uh, Farad Arslan, and since then he has made only one title defense. Uh, it looks like he has had numerous fights scheduled, but then postponed for various reasons. Um, I read that he, uh, he said he slipped in training and hurt his back, you know, blah, blah, blah. Usually that means a fighter is just, he's out of shape. He's defending his title against Michael Marone. What Marone has done to earn this title shot at cruiserweight or at any weight is, is beyond me. Uh, but that's you know that's the sanction and bodies for you. Uh, Marone has spent uh, all of his career at heavyweight. Uh, he has campaign campaigned at about 215 to 220 pounds. Uh, I don't see how he can get all the way down to cruiserweight. Uh, he's pretty flabby though, so. Um, Maybe he gets in shape. <laughs> no. uh, I have attached a YouTube link below of his stoppage loss to uh, an Italian heavyweight named Pianetta. It looks like they stopped the fight prematurely. Um, but, you know, the, I really hesitate to give a pick in this fight. I mean, given Jones's history, uh, the casinos would be better off if they just gave odds of the, this fight actually happening. Um, but if, if Jones is in shape, even at the age of a 39... Uh, Marone looks like it to be an easy night's work for him. So, um, there you have it.